Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to a quick video, uh, unlike the ones that I usually do, where I talk to you guys about a little nifty trick that I've recently discovered in Minecraft, and that is how to potentially increase your frame rate or your FPS in modded Minecraft. Uh, and I'm going to show you first off the setting, and then we're going to go into what this setting is and how it works. So to turn this setting on, it's really actually pretty simple. If you're playing modded Minecraft, uh, you open up your mod options, you find Minecraft Forge in your mods lift, you hit config, client settings, force threaded chunk rendering, set this to true. That's the end of the story. Now, before you go ahead and do this, I should note that uh, some older machines may not see an improvement, and this can have some visual glitchery, like it might have some weird visual artifacting, but it wouldn't be too common. Now, how does this improve your frame rate? Let's take a look. Let's set it back to false, which is the default setting, by the way. And let's see what happens if I bring up the F3 manual. You'll notice that I'm particularly looking at my area over here. And if you keep a look at my FPS, you'll notice that it spikes pretty much anything uh, or any time something changes in the chunk in front of me. And you can see that in the graph on the bottom. See those FPS spikes that are happening right there? Goes a little bit crazy, right? What is causing this and why? Let's take a look. Um, one of the things that typically affects um, your FPS in modded Minecraft is chunk re-rendering. Basically when something changes inside a chunk, and remember a chunk is a 16 by 16 area that you can visualize by hitting F3G and you can see the chunk borders visualized here. Anytime something changes in a chunk, be it liquid being picked up or redropped or usually redstone changes, chunks have to redraw themselves. So what happens is your computer needs to redraw everything in that chunk. And remember that chunk goes from bedrock all the way up to the ceiling uh, of the world, so you're gonna have a lot of chunk redraws. One way to visualize what's causing chunk redraws is by using the sampler mod from player. And what we can do is use a command called csampler uh, render updates show. And what'll happen is anytime a block causes a chunk re-render, it will be highlighted in red. So you can see that pressure plate back there is causing the chunk to re-render. The liquid being placed and then picked back up by my droppers and sometimes items dropping into them, which cause uh, the, the, the liquid there to change, can also cause chunk redraws. And pretty much every time this happens, the entire chunk needs to be reloaded. By turning on the setting that we just demonstrated, it helps to offload that chunk re-rendering into a separate processor thread in Minecraft. Basically, if you have a single processor CPU, this won't help, but most computers these days are multi-processor, so therefore can be multi-threaded. Uh, if we wanna exacerbate this problem, we can get um, a redstone timer. Redstone usually causes chunk updates as well, um, and by using a redstone pulse, we can more accurately see how much damage chunk re-rendering can do to your FPS. Now, it should be noted that chunk redraws aren't exclusive to modern Minecraft machines. Placing a block in the world causes a chunk redraw. We can see that because of the red outline there, as does breaking it. Pretty much any time something changes in a chunk, it's going to redraw that chunk. And that's normal, and that's usually not a big deal in vanilla Minecraft because you don't have a lot of automated machines that are causing a lot of chunk redraws. However, if you build a uh, really rapid-firing uh, vanilla redstone clock that you know fires redstone pulses frequently, you could cause this problem in vanilla. It just tends to happen more in modded Minecraft because we have all these awesome machines that are doing crazy automated things. I've gone ahead and got myself a timer from uh, Dark Utilities and we're going to place it right here in this chunk just to gem demonstrate uh, how this can be bad if you've got a lot of chunk redraws. So see I have a steady you know 60-ish FPS right now. I'm going to go ahead and place this here and we're going to set this to a five tick delay meaning it'll pulse four times a second. Watch my FPS. Notice all that staggering? That's bad. Now let's go ahead and turn on that awesome setting that I just demonstrated in the mod options. Mod options, Minecraft Forge, config, client settings, true, done, and done. Nice and smooth. No more fluctuating frame rate. Now again, this works because it's offloading those chunk re-renders into a separate thread on your CPU. Again, if you have a single threaded CPU, it may not improve anything. And it may also cause some visual glitches, which if it does, or if it causes problems, or if anything goes wrong, simply go into mod options, Minecraft Forge, config, client settings, and set it back to false. Done, done, and done. Yes, you'll have you know some frame rate dippage again, um, but that's okay because you know you turned it off for a reason, right? So 
The urge to create a clickbait title for this video was strong, but I've promised myself I'll never use clickbait thread titles or video titles, so that's not gonna happen. But definitely wanted to let you guys know about this. I've recently discovered this, CPW turned me onto this setting. Um, again, keep in mind, it's not on by default for a reason. So turn it on, um, see if you have any negative visual effects. Um, and if it does cause like weird artifacting visual stuff in your world, it shouldn't break anything in your world. It's all client side, so it won't break your world in any way. Um, all it'll do is potentially cause some, you know, visual glitches. I haven't seen any yet. Uh, one thing that CPW mentioned is it can sometimes cause um, like world holes, which you guys might remember from previous versions of Minecraft where, you know, like a whole chunk would be missing, right? Um, and it's usually like a temporary thing. It, it corrects itself pretty quickly. Um, and it's just a visual bug. Um, so that can occasionally be caused by the setting being turned on. Um, it's particularly noticeable when you quarry on a chunk boundary, uh, is what CBW said. So try turning it on, see if you get an FPS increase. If you do, cool. Um, and if it causes problems or if, uh, it doesn't cause an FPS increase, go ahead and turn it back off. It's no big deal. For now, Dial 20 signing off. Take it easy.